What's up, Libra? This is Soul. And Libra, this is your July 2019 general love and relationship messages. It is for Libra singles, Libra couples, Libra sun, Libra moon, Libra rising signs as well. All right, Libra, I hope all is well. Throw these videos up early so I can enjoy uh, my upcoming birthday um, in July, July 10th. So... I want to get this uh, energy out of the way so I can um, be able to relax. Yeah, so without further ado, using my favorite tarot deck to uh, deliver these messages for you, uh, Libra, the Victorian Romantic Tarot, and also using um, Simply Love's Oracle uh, answer deck. So, yeah. For Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising, for Libra Singles and Libra Couples. If I didn't say that, I probably did. <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, Libra, let's get right into your uh, messages. And you know what? I just hope that I don't have a stop record because uh, I had that with Virgo and it's uh, really a pain in the ass. But anyway, uh, no reversals. Everything should be in its upright position. If a card is selected for you and it's in the reverse, I will just uh, turn it upright and read it for you. Okay. Pay attention to the shadow card energies, um, especially if it's a major Libra. Um, it, it, it will it's energy that will play out. You know, I used to say that it may, but no, with a major, it will play out. Okay. So let's see what's going on coming up for you. And so far, these readings have been very, very positive. Uh, especially starting off with uh, Cancer. Cancer had a very, very positive reading. Um, as well as Leo. Leo and uh, Virgo. Virgo had a good reading. It wasn't too bad. But anyway, let's see what the energy is coming up for you. And by the way, I do want to wish you all, if I don't get an opportunity to remember, a happy fourth celebration. Okay, so selecting 10 cards. Let's begin. Okay, two lovers and two devils in this uh, deck here. Libra, let's see what's going on. Your shadow energy. Uh, yeah, see, I must have turned the, uh, the deck around. Of course I have. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. We have the page of wands, okay? Page of wands is your shadow card energy, so that's news and surprises. Now, the news and surprise will be carries from a young fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be male or female. News and surprise. So we're opening up the energy already with something good. Let's hope it continues. And your overall energy for the month, um, that may be the focus for some of you, is related to, <laughs> there we go, the lovers. Okay, now... Whenever the lovers is the start of the energy, it's always auspicious, okay? And, you know, this is Gemini, so it represents your energy. So I am thrilled already. And it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter to an extent what else. What are the other cards that show up or, or reveal for you here, uh, Libra? So the focus for you could be partnerships, news and surprises coming in, all right? new partnerships this could be representing existing partnerships keep in mind stay focused on partnerships and relationships i'm not talking about finance family your work your job third party energies you know i'm not discussing that all right so we have started off already libra with the lovers card this is about love partnerships unions being on the same page, like-mindedness, uh, seeing eye to eye with one another, possibly going, uh, you know, in the month of July, if you are um, coupled already, just enjoying each other's company and, you know, outings, going places, different, you know, 
summer is here for us in the United States, so it could be that you're just out and about. This could also represent marriage, someone getting married in the month of July. So much energy is coming through. All right, so what's crossing that lover's card? Major arcana for you, Libra, is Six of Wands. So Six of Wands is a traveling card, but it's also victory and success. So, but because it's crossing that uh, Two of Wands, and the Six of Wands will represent your immediate environment. You know, as I've been saying in the other videos. So you could be um, you and your romantic partner or your partner in general could be um, going on a trip. OK, now this six of uh, wands will represent uh, safe passage to and safe passage from. So there's no worry. Victory and success. Positive energy moving forward. It could be that there's someone coming forward if you are single. Now, the wands represent fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. So that could be a possibility um, for you sing single Libras. And then remember, it could be a young fire energy. With the page of uh, wands showing up here as the shadow. All right, victory and success. Next up is the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is sexual energy, passion, sexual expressions, focus. This is a court card. So it could be younger, older energies connecting with the lover's card because it does mirror the lover's card. Fire sign energies again. Okay. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Being very, very passionate. Someone could be in a relationship already and they're very, very passionate and sharing of their expression of in terms of energy, that is. OK, it could be sexual, whatever. OK, but it's good. It's not a bad thing. Following that Queen of Wands is now the devil. OK, so we have the major arcana, the devil. Now, do not do not despair because the devil comes in. Where it's a need for uh, some of you that I'm reading for when it comes to these relationships, you need to address something that's not working. If it is a bad habit or if it is an actual habit of substance abuse, then it's something that might be uh, affecting or impacting uh, not only you, but it could be the, you know, the person. If you're not the one who is um, the substance abuser, it could be your partner and it's uh, affecting them and the relationship overall. And this is a need to address bad habits and bad relationships, okay? This is an addiction. This is a card of illusion. This is a card of um, feeling, you know, restricted or bound uh, to possibly a relationship or substance abuse. Something feeling... Given the uh, types of energy of feeling, you know, just restricted. There's no movement. There's some sort of um, it may be that you want to move or you want to do something, but you're feeling limited. Devil represents uh, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. So it could be someone who's dealing with earth energies. Yeah. The devil. So whatever the devil card means for you, Libra is showing up here. All right. So following that major arcana, the devil card. Now we have the moon card, another major arcana. So this is a cycle that comes to an end. Completion. This also is a reflection of the past. Also, secrets being revealed. Okay. Pisces represents this moon card, Major Arcana, as well as the other water energies. Cancer and Scorpio. Uh, careful of fluctuating moods when it comes to your re uh, relationships in the month of July, Libra. Because you're always trying to balance things out. You're the, you're, you, well, you represent the scale. So anything that's out of balance throws you off. So and it could affect your moods and give you mood swings. So just be prepared uh, to try your best. You do have the support of the lover's card. OK, 
partnerships, seeing eye to eye with one another. So for some of you, it could be that there's just a little bit of the moon energy that you may experience following the, you know, and it may be having something to do with the devil as well. Reputations, the moon rep, uh, represents reputations, cycles completed, changes, could be a new moon, it could be a full moon during this period. Um, and it may have some sort of impact uh, on you when it comes to your relationship. Following the major arcana now, Libra is the uh, king of pentacles. OK, this could be. Someone again, along with the queen of wands showing up here underneath the lover's card, someone could be meeting someone who runs their own business, someone who could be um, this person who works in uh, finances, money. Whoever this person is, is very resourceful, but they're willing to share their resources with you. OK, that's underneath the lover's card, earth energies, and that may not be earth energies, but for the sake of saying Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, male or female, the coming forth of someone new, the entrance end to someone's life reading for you, Libra. So it could be that um, person who is either an entre entrepreneur or they're um, doing something well to do in the line of work that they have chosen. OK, but I'm getting more finances, banker or a financier or someone who handles or deals with money. All right. So following the King of Pentacles now, Libra is the world card, major arcana. Wow, this is nice. Over the, you know, underneath the traveling card. So it could be for the singles with the lovers showing up here. This is a card of opportunities, expected or unexpected opportunities but it's also the relationship card one of my relationship cards so someone could be traveling abroad and you know single traveling abroad and then you meet somebody that's just one example but the opportunities are here opportunities are met following the king of pentacles All right, following the major arcana in the world card, Libra, now we have the death card. You know, this death card has been showing up here quite a bit here, but it's not a card to fear because it doesn't necessarily, um, it doesn't literally mean physical death, but it is a situation where uh, it is a need. It's a transformation. Normally, the major arcana, especially the death card, is all about a major transformation. So whatever the major transformation could be for you, it may be, uh, showing up here because it's linked to the devil card is someone having to be feeling restricted or bound to a situation person substance abuse the death card comes in and says okay even though the devil says there's a need for you to address it then the death card says okay try your best to release it it's a releasing type of energy and then if you're able to release it then there's something new uh, on the horizon for you but again it could be um, something else that's going on in relationship to some uh, Libras in the month of uh, July when this death card shows up here. It's a need to release something that's no longer uh, resonating, uh, f you know, resonating for you for your highest good. OK, but if you're able to release it, then the death card says that we have something new. OK, so that's why I always feel when a death card comes up, it's not negative. It's really, really positive. And it could be just a thought process, but it's all connected. Uh, it has to be connected to your relationships, all right? Or your mode of thinking uh, when it comes to your uh, relationships. If you're single, you could be in a relationship. It's something that is not working, okay? Underneath the queen, that's a court card. So it could be something's not working. Uh, it could be the message that something's not working with a fire sign directly. and But there's whatever that energy is and whatever it means for you, you have to be able to let it go and then allow new energies to come through. All right. So the death card representing Scorpio, other water energies, uh, Cancer and Pisces. So there might be exchanges with water signs, too. Wow. All right. So we have the seven of Pentacles, which is options and is all about options. 
So there could be for some of us in the month of July mirrors the world card opportunities and we have the lover's card to validate or to give us that support. So in the month of July, if you are single and you want to connect with a new relationship, the energy is here. OK, the energy is here. Um, yeah, because she's picking from the flower garden and there's beautiful flowers here. She doesn't just necessarily she already picked one and she's going in for another. So it could be there's several people who become available and it's romantically uh, linked or there's some other connection. All right. So the final card here, Libra for you is okay. Another major arcana, the hangman. So the hangman is about, um, this is my timing card, even though it's a card of uh, things uh, in suspense, things that are um, situations, sitting in the balance yeah okay that's the traditional meaning but the other meaning and the, the one i like to use for this is that okay this card represents normally a uh time or a need to think about things and we're talking about relationships um before you proceed or move forward it mirrors the king of uh, pentacles so maybe there's someone that you meet and you need to evaluate the situation prior to moving forward and that doesn't necessarily mean it's a negative uh type of energy it's just whatever the hangman means in terms of having to um take your time think about something and then normally because i decided to use all these cards in the upright position if it was reversed that means you thought about it and now you're ready to move forward if it shows up in the reverse all right so simply put just more time is needed before you forge or move ahead and it has to be um in line or connected to a relationship all right so let's select three cards for you libra uh, from the simply loves oracle answer deck and these are just messages and messages that uh someone may need to see or hear whatever the first one is healing it says no matter what well, okay, children need their fathers. Well, isn't that something? Father's Day approaching. Next card up um, is uninterested. The relationship is hopeless. Well, let's, let's hope that's not the case with, with anyone. But it could be. Like I said, these are just messages. Everybody don't comment on the uh, the messages here, so... We don't know what's going on. Okay, with other people. Case of the X. Time to let the X go. Look at that. All right, so that could come in and be in line with the death card. You know, having to release uh, something that's no longer resonating with you it could actually be a relationship. All right, and then, you know, the devil comes in here as well. Having to address bad habits or bad relationships. So the case of the X, time to let the X go. So that might be a message for you. All right. So here we go, Libra. This completes your reading. Thank you so much for all of your support. Uh, sending you out quite a bit of love and light. Your way, always stay safe. Safe as you possibly can. All right. Emphasizing that safety. Always have to. Until I talk to you again, Libra, be well. Bye.